with Mario Lopez. What's up, y'all? Mario Lopez. Joining me now on Zoom, the new star of The Bachelor, Matt James. Welcome to the show, man. How are you? What's good? It's good to be here. Congrats on the new season. Uh, is it weird to watch yourself on TV? What was the first uh, thought when you saw yourself? Man, I, I sound like a fool. I look skinny like it's like everything that you're like you're just judging every movement yeah it's, it's super weird i don't know if i ever get used to it yeah right all your inhibitions come out i was the first time too i was like dang i sound like that that's how i sound it's weird right yeah uh, and y'all are outside of pittsburgh right yeah we're in we're in nimicolin so it's like an hour and a half in the middle of pa which was beautiful i loved it how how did that location come to be just curious I, uh i don't know what I, I think they were looking for a location that would be a safe space to have uh, a bubble. And oh. it was the best place because it had everything you could imagine. And I didn't feel like I was confined because there's so much to do there. You know? Yeah, and there's uh, there's no distractions. Not like you get distracted going to Bora Bora or, or the South <laughs> of France or something. I mean, if you, right. you're, 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 you have to zero in. If you like someone, then you know you like them. <laughs> it's yeah, not exactly. Be closer to reality. Is, is it true that you've never been in love before? Is that true? So Mario, it's like, when I was a jit, like when I was young and I was telling someone I loved them, it meant something different than it does now, knowing what it's like to have my heart broken, know what it's, what it's like to respect and uh, sacrifice and make all these commitments to someone that you actually care about. And I wasn't ready to do that back then. So I can't say that I love somebody. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Like you think you do. That's good though. Cause as you get older, I think you appreciate it more. You you learn to sort of respect it, and and you have a little more uh, patience for it because you definitely need patience. Were, were you worried that reality TV might not be the best place to to find love for the first time in a serious? Oh movie? yeah, of course. I was I was skeptical because it's like I I I seek out realness, and I was very hopeful that I could find something like that because of how it turned out for my roommate, Tyler, but um, you never know you, because everyone has their own agenda. But after I met a handful of the women that first night, I was, I was like, man, this is going to be tough because they're real and right. So. Tough, but fun, but a fun process that, you know, you got to enjoy. I mean, it, that, that's what you're there for. How'd you find out you were going to be the bachelor? Tell me about that moment. Bro, I was, I was quarantined in Jupiter at uh, Tyler's house and, um, and I, I can't make this up. I was going inside to fill up more water balloons because we were having a water balloon fight. And and I get this call and I thought someone was messing with me because I was supposed to go on The Bachelorette. And they're like, hey, like, and I, and I kind of brushed it off and then they called back and I'm like, wait, are you serious? And and then I was just honored. I was just humbled because I knew what went into that type of selection. So I was at my buddy's house about to have a water balloon fight. <laughs> I love it. And you're the first one, I don't know if it's ever, but at least in a while, that um, they didn't use someone from previous season, because usually they take people from previous seasons, correct? Right, right. Yeah. I um, and, and I feel like that was kind of an advantage. I don't know if, if there is any type of advantage or not, but I just approach things as any random yeah, person yeah. being thrown in there would. You know, I was just trying to be as authentic as I could with the women and with everything that was put in my plate. That's how you'll get uh, the best response right there, man. See if it's coming. So um, much has been made about being the first African-American uh, bachelor. How, how do you feel about the way they're representing you? Um, you know, that's what you have control over. It's like uh, everything that I said was my own. Like no one told me to say anything, uh, which was nice. And uh, I, I hope it's something that's normalized. You know, it's like uh, uh, it's very rare to be a first to something. And I was just honored. And I, I don't speak for every black person. I just speak for myself and my experience and um, I'm not going to put that pressure on me. So um, that, that's kind of how I navigated it. Good for you, man. That's like the right attitude. Um, let's talk first impressions. Uh, usually whoever gets the, the rose goes pretty far. What, what went into your decision? Were you conscious of that or you just said you're going to go with your gut? Bro, so like when, when you're, like I said, I'm looking for realness. And when Abigail got out of the limo, and she's just led with like, hey, like something you may not know about me is I'm deaf and my, my sister's deaf. And she was just being authentic and it was no gimmick. Like it was like, like the fact that there was actual real people there. I was like, all right, like I, I love this. And the fact that she gave me that information and it wasn't prompted, it's just like, yeah. like I, don't have, I don't have enough time to talk about how all the attributes that I loved about her. She was great. Like she, yeah. she's incredible. 
Yeah, hey, when you come from an authentic place, man, it can't go wrong right there. Um, some of the ladies are former beauty queens. What's a good way to get past the looks and appearances and, and actually get to, to know the suitors? Because, I mean, they're vying for your time and you're on limited time with each one. It's actually really easy. Like, the whole premise is, is you're sitting down and you have to have a conversation. And if you don't have any depth, then you're just going to be sitting there like this. Right. So you, you, you the, the, the cream rises to the top very quickly because if you're not real, if you're not authentic, if you don't have depth, then we're going to sit there and look at each other for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'd have a problem. I always think of myself, oh, what if I was in that position? Because I'll be getting along with everyone. You know what I mean? Or I'll find something cool about all of them. I'll be like, hey, yeah. hey you think that? You think that? No, <laughs> no, then you got, yeah, I know. Then it gets difficult. To get the, the, I, I feel all bad. I don't want to let anyone go. Uh, what can you tease us about for the rest of the season? Are we going to see uh, typical drama played out? or Mario, you have no idea. Like, there's, there's rumors floated around that there's a, a woman who's an escort. There's there's very intense one-on-one -on -one dates where um, people's lives are in jeopardy. There's a there's a lot to unpack, and I'm excited wow. to share it with everybody. There's levels. Okay, okay, man. Where are you from originally? I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. So, but I'm in New York City now. Okay, so you're near, but born and raised in Raleigh. Born and raised in Raleigh. Yeah. Okay. No accent. You. I appreciate that, man. Everyone's like, oh, you sound country. I'm like, do I really? No, I didn't I, think so. That's all surprised to hear you say that. Okay. Good yeah, I'm from Raleigh, point. but uh, I've been okay. in the city for a while now, so I guess it, it kind of comes and goes. Yeah. And how you like it there? How long have you been in New York? I've been in New York for three years, and it's like everything you could ever want, food, experiences, travel, like you can get there and do it in New York. So it's like, yeah, I don't ever leave. I love it here. And you, and you, played, uh, you played ball at Wake Forest, right? Yeah, I was on the team, but I didn't get in a lot. You know, I was uh, I, I wasn't all that great, but um, it was fun. You know, I loved that yeah. experience, and um, it's and a great it wasn't, Yeah, it was it was a lot of it was, it was fun. I, I missed the the camaraderie with my teammates and stuff like that, but uh, we were always getting smacked. So what like the playing part wasn't all that fun, but the, my teammates were a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure, and I'm sure the parties were. All right, listen, man. Before I let you go, man, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Quick questions, quick answers. Okay. Okay. Favorite show you binge during the pandemic? My favorite show I binge during the pandemic? Um, that's a good question. Uh, dang. Does uh, does Queen's Gambit count? Yeah, of course it does. Totally I love counts. that show. That was great. Okay. What's a song you know all the words to? Um, mm. Uh... Tyler Harrow, uh, Jack Harlow. Okay. Celebrity crush growing up. Zoe Saldana. Oh, right. She's no, I was just in a, I thought you were gonna say Zoe Kravitz. She's single now. <laughs> 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 She's single now. She's fine too. Um, all time favorite football player. All time favorite football player. Uh, Reggie Bush, man. He had that juice at USC, bro. Like, yeah, Reggie, he, wow. Kim K, like, he was just the man. <laughs> Good. Dude. Who's your team growing up in North Carolina? Oh, no, they got a team now, right? They're yeah, the they got the Panthers now. That was hella disrespectful. That was mad disrespectful. <laughs> oh, because I couldn't remember. <laughs> How long have you been there now? They've been there a minute, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, shit, they've been there a while. My bad. My bad. That's right. Yeah, my boy Rivera is coach over there, too. That's right. You do New Year's resolutions, Matt? Yeah, my resolution is to, is to actually – stick with my resolution. You know, I make all these, like you make a plan and you're like, I'm gonna do this. And then a month right, later, right. it's like, I'm gonna stick with them this year, so. Are you in love? I'm not asking you, I'm just asking, are you in love? Do I look happy? You look happy, I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna go with yes. All right, judging by that smile, okay. Okay, take your time, player. Take your time, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> but hey man, good meeting you, good luck. We're gonna look forward to uh, checking out your journey. Everyone watch The Bachelor. Mondays on ABC. Matt, good luck, brother. Hopefully we'll see Appreciate you soon. Appreciate that. Thank you, Mario. Take care. On with Mario Lopez.